the Great White Brotherhood, the seven eternal laws that govern the universe. To be alive you have to believe. Spiritual awareness is a more refined range of psychism that constitutes a kind of evolutionary elite in the planet. Members of religions or not, they are individuals who put the ideal above reason. Eternal laws govern the universe, guiding the learning of God's children in experiences that lead them to understand and wisdom, that all manifestation in the origin of everything is love. Through these laws, the consciousness contained in a body can gradually express itself, experiencing experiences in a certain space, in a certain dimension or reality. They organize the duration of the experiences that have to be lived by the consciousness, depending on what in time, has already been, is, or will be experienced so that the consciousness obtains the light of wisdom and discovers the inner light. They are applied to everything that was generated and they govern the process of life. As the consciousness harmonizes, you will notice that these laws apply to everything it does what it thinks what it imagines and that in your now, your before and after is also inserted. Consciousness, when perceiving the universe vibrating as a unit, accepting it in its divine perfection, will decode the information that vibrates less from it. The perception of the divine will through its laws will become more and more transparent, as the human being dissipates his ignorance in the game of life, freeing himself from the darkness of his sufferings. The higher the laws are in the hierarchical vibration structure, the more information they will contain, the more light they will radiate. In the other hand, the lower the consciousness is tuned within the hierarchical vibrational structure, the less information it will have, the more dense experiences in the matter it will experience, the more controlled by instinct it will be and the more surrounded by the darkness of ignorance and suffering it will be. The three lower laws, the law of nature, the law of harmony, and the law of correspondence, govern the hell of life in human experiences. The three highest laws, the laws of the heaven of life experienced by human consciousness, are the law of polarity, the law of manifestation, and the law of love. Between the hell of life and the heaven of life, separating them, vibrates the law of evolution. 1. The law of nature. It creates conditions for the physical body to harmonize with the intuitive processes and when functioning perfectly, it contains a consciousness that evolves eternally. It is under this law that human bodies are organized, so that the adversity generated by them manifests itself, as it is through adversity that the consciousness evolves. The divine willing automatic programming vibrated in this law created the genetic code of each species and in man particularly, endowed him with a body that contains a consciousness that experiences life, which makes it evolve through its relationship with other consciousnesses, leading him to wisdom after many incarnations. 2. The Law of Harmony it establishes the limits, the margins of imbalance necessary for everything to organize itself, so that certain experiences are lived in a period, and then changes all the rules of the game so that another learning process is generated. This law controls the cycle of all manifestations, the cycle of everything that exists so that the consciousness in adversity can relate living together simultaneously, learning to harmonize. 3. The Correspondence Law It is the last of the hell of life, which determines when the consciousness is ready to experience another level of experience. It is this that determines the duration, place, and limits of experiences between the simultaneous processes of different individuals. It is also she who creates the conditions for who, where, how, 
and even when experiences have to be lived. From the moment of their emanation from God to their current understanding of the universe, human beings vibrated at various levels of consciousness. Therefore, the life of each human being is a luminous course of learning, with increasingly complex experiences, so that their consciousness arises in the hierarchy of light. In the first moment of its confidential evolution, the human being learns to control its aggressive instincts, its animal emotions. In a second moment, he learns to awaken his sensitivity, perceiving himself with his subtler feelings. In a third moment, the conscience realizes that to have inner joy it will need to develop a harmonious relationship with other consciences, based on respect, tolerance and, only then, in a fourth moment, already fully living respect and tolerance in their life relationships, is that the consciousness will vibrate in the frequency of peace and love. Chance does not exist, the laws that govern the universe are not based on it. If something is happening in a certain place, it has to happen. Consciousness can only interfere with the fact, with your free will, before it happens. Human beings only live situations that they can withstand and that are at the level of their understanding, at the level of what they believe. He can choose to accept all the events necessary for his transcendence in his earthly experience or fight against them, treading a path of anguish and suffering. What consciousness calls evolution is the gradual process of your enlightenment. At this level of understanding, human beings accept that all events in life are part of their learning and, for this very reason, they should not blame themselves, should not judge themselves and anyone else for what happens to them and for what happens to others. For the law of evolution, it establishes the destiny, the reason, and the order of the processes that the consciousness is submitted to. It determines what mistakes are so that the consciousness learns to overcome them. The consciousness that lives in the law of evolution already controls its instinct, has a harmonic relationship with other consciousnesses, transforms the errors coming from its free will into instruments for its evolution, for its enlightenment, Human beings who live within this law take the opportunity to grow through the confrontation of opposites, the confrontation of concepts, beliefs, customs, cultures, and feelings. At this level, the consciousness finds balance, recognizing and understanding the laws that they violated. All the difficult moments that human beings go through are necessary, so that their consciousness made by information and experiences, perceives itself as part of the universe and harmonizes with the laws that govern it. By the outcropping of his sensitivity, the human being discovers that all the events that involve him are to help him in his evolution and that, therefore, there is neither good nor bad. 5. The Law of Polarity it governs the relationship and movement between all opposing forces that vibrate at all levels to generate creation. This law controls the interaction between the two fundamental forces of the universe, the negative force and the positive force, which are the instruments that build the universe. The opposition between the compressive centripetal force and the expansive centrifugal force gives rise to the magnetic force, the gravitational force, the movement, and density of matter, with its volume, mass, and weight. All the time, the luminous, the subtle is interacting with the dark, with the dense, creating new experiences, so that consciousness develops its understanding of the universe. The physical universe vibrates, moves and is created by the interaction of the force that flows from the negative pole, centripetal, counterclockwise, 
perceived as intuitive feminine and in the right side of the brain, with the force that leaves the positive pole, centrifugal, clockwise perceived as rational masculine and left brained. Lowering the vibrational frequency, the matter gets denser, gets more atoms. Increased its frequency of vibration it becomes lighter, it has fewer atoms. The two fundamental forces of the universe, the negative and the positive, when organized in harmonic balance points, in different vibration frequencies, give rise to matter with colors, densities, and also specific chemical behaviors. Gold differs from lead by the frequency at which it vibrates. The color also changes successively, by increasing its frequency of vibration, passing from red to orange, from orange to yellow, from yellow to green, from green to indigo, and then to violet. Increasing more and more the frequency of vibration, the violet color passes to pure opaline white and from there, to the absence of light. At this point, at this frequency of vibration, electricity appears. Thereafter, keeping the increase in frequency constant, the electromagnetic force will be replaced by the vital or psychic force, which is the most intense pulsating force operated by the mind. Rhythm registers all vibrations, registers everything that exists, brings affinity between the parts of the whole, transforms disorder and chaos into order and harmony. The great giver of life is the energy generated in consciousness, it is the manifestation of the higher self of unconditional love. 6. The Law of Manifestation it establishes that all created things must first exist in the mind of God. It is what determines the passage of intangible ideas, so that they manifest themselves in the tangible universe. God is one. And the unit. Everything that exists derives from him and to him everything must return in subtlety energy and essence. Unity is what structures the universe by the resonance of itself. The law of manifestation allows the undifferentiated and homogeneous unit to manifest the creation by the reflection of itself, to manifest the two fundamental opposing forces of the physical universe, giving rise to vibration, density, and heterogeneity. The consciousness as it becomes enlightened, realizes that it is the same law from the same principle that governs the entire manifestation and, therefore, that the micro mirrors the macro and vice versa. Life is eternal for the consciousness to evolve through successive experiences acquiring the wisdom of the perception that everything that exists comes from unconditional love. 7. The Law of Unconditional Love the last law of the heaven of life is the law from which all other laws originate and are codified. It is through the law of unconditional love that consciousness reaches the full understanding of creation and the perfect order and balance of the universe. Life is made by countless experiences to allow consciousness to understand and perceive the dynamics of creation, and when it reaches its goal, it no longer needs to experience matter and it then returns to the source of universal love that generated it. This is the true return to the Father's house so spoken of by the one who walked among humanity the Christ Jesus and left very important teaching, when he said, I and my Father are one in this sentence, all the laws of balance and evolution are contained. And so it is. The Star Traveler Decree. May humanity live in the light, with the light, and for the light. Stay in the light. Namast. Friends and brothers I want to thank everyone for visiting the Star Traveler page. The contents are messages from the masters of the universe for the awakening of consciousness and the construction of a better world. Please share this page so you will be participating in building a better world.
Don't forget to click on the bell to know each post in this page as soon as it is published. Like lots of light. Namaste.